Hello there. Today we will create a real assistant agent for Delta Clinic. We will use Laravel with local Olama models. Development of AI agents requires a lot of iterations to refine prompt, refine instructions, uh, test agent in different cases. So all it needs a lot of to lots of tokens, and we know every token counts. So. Uh, that was the first reason why I created OpenAI compatible driver so that I, I uh, have an available local Olama models in Laragent so to streamline local development and before going to production you can just swap it with uh, uh, some API for example OpenAI's uh, API models and it will work just nice to make sure that any developer with any device can benefit from local AI agent development I was searching for lightweight open source model in Olama library uh, the criteria was uh, to have a tool calling capabilities and some good following instructions uh, so uh, I tested the different uh, models but uh, I found the best choice the Llama 3.2 which is a lightweight, only 3 billion parameters, only 2 gigabytes, and generates pretty normal text and handles tool calling greatly. Okay, let's get started, guys. I started with creating a brand new Laravel project called Dentist Appointments. Then I made a really basic setup with a service and slot model. Service have a name, description, price and of course a relationship with the slots. And slot model have a day, start time and a status. Of course I added a migration, migrations for both models and how some uh, seeder to get uh, starting test data. Service seeder adds some four different services such as a regular checkup, or deep cleaning, and stuff like this. And slot seeder adds just uh, available slots for some days in the next weeks. To get more control over the agent's context, I added easy active field to the service model. And let's now add the scope to easily filter uh, filter them out and pass to our agent context oh by the way active is the name of my cat actually her name is activia but we call her active isn't she cute back to the project i updated the slot model added customer name customer email fields and status with an enum uh, which will, we will use in uh, mm, uh, agent tools to get the correct values and of course some scopes to get the slots filtered out correctly. Now let's get started with LaraGent and install it with the composer require maestro error slash LaraGent command. First of all we need to publish our configuration of LaraGent using PHP Artisan Vendor Publish command with the correct tag. And let's check out the initial configuration. Let's now add the Olama provider. I will just copy default provider and paste it here. First of all, let's update the key since we will use it in our agent to uh, link to the provider. In case of name, uh, it's that important what we will set there. It's just demonstration purposes. Actually, it is only a label. Uh, since Olama does not use this any API key, we can uh, put it here anything we need. We just need to make sure uh, it will not be empty. Uh, let's now add the API URL which I will mm, paste from my local setup and this URL mainly is a standard if you did not change it in your case uh, 
Zia will be saying URL for your OLAMA setup as well. And the last thing is the driver. Instead of default OpenAI driver, we will use OpenAI compatible driver. So let's paste it here and just update the class name. That's it. OLAMA driver is ready. As you already may know, we can set an urgent uh, model per agent, but I would like to add some default models in the providers as well. For OpenAI, I will use GPT-40 Mini, and for Olama, as I said, I tested um, different models and I liked um, a Llama 3.2. Here it is. I tested a granite and uh, commanded some other uh, models as well, but this one is lightweight, uh, have a good tool calling capabilities and follows instructions pretty well. And of course it can be ran on any edge devices, so I will choose it. Uh, install uh, the model by running this command, but I have already ran it. I will just copy a model and paste it here so that our agents using Olama provider will by default refer to this model. Now let's type the php artisan make agent command to start creating our appointment assistant. The initial class looked like this. We have some model history provider which we will update with an Olama and we can remove the model since we have already specified it in the provider and let now update the initial instructions. I don't like holding a huge strings in the classes, so let's move these instructions in the separate file. So first of all create a instructions dot blade dot php file and copy and paste our instructions there. In instructions method we should return a view function and add the render method to it. It's time to set up our initial prompt for the agent. Just uh, copy the view part here and create a new blade file to write a prompt. And the services will be passed from the prompt method later. It's kinda rug, but instead to vectors, we will use just a regular Laravel model to get a needed data and build up the prompt. That way we will send to the prompt only actual active services and of course pass the user message to it.
Before creating our first tool which will check the availability of the slots in our database, we will need to add some imports in our PHP file. First of all, of course, it's a slot model and slot status enum. Lastly, we will need a large end attribute for tool creation, which will actually tell the large agent that this particular method is a tool and it takes a tool's descri description as a first argument. Check availability searches for the specific service and then check the slots and if there is no available slots for it, return slot is not available, but if is there are some available slots, it will return a view, which actually gets some complete information about the service, uh, date and slots available. Since we have a data attribute here and instructions are injected at the start of conversation, we should pass the current date information in prompt so that the agent could have a correct information and correct date in case if user, let's say, asks to make appointment for tomorrow. Okay, so let's add it in the prompt like today is that of course the next tool would be a book appointment Long story short, I added the slot ID which comes from the check availability tool and we will find the slot using it. If there is a no slot provided, we will prompt it to try again with the correct ID. If there is but it's not available, we will prompt to check availability again. If there is everything ok, we just change the status, add the name email and save it. And the last one, a transfer tool. So in case uh, some user will ask them to get connected with the actual human, uh, then LLM will use this tool. So for example, share some contact information. It looks like this at end. We have some information like name, email, name, email and comment which in production environment will be sent by email to the manager or someone responsible for it and we just return the contact information for the manager which will be shared to the user. After a bit of testing I made some fixes. First of all I changed the attribute import because it was wrong I changed uh, history to the file for some debugging purposes I updated the attribute name it should be starting with a capital letter and uh, as well I moved the services context to the instructions instead of prompt like this added the tools in the instructions. Ok, let's now test it using PHP Artisan Agent Chat command, which allows us to chat with our, with our agent directly in the console and test it out. 
how does it works It's really exciting to see actually booked time slots is date base. And I tested uh, this agent with GPT-40 Mini as well, and of course it works much better. I will push the final version to the GitHub, so check links in description.